Father's Day is just around the corner and we're doing the Father's Day gift guide by GetZone.com. Uh, we do this every year. We also do a holiday gift guide as well. Just to give you some ideas for your dad or for yourself. Uh, today's presenting sponsor is Burris Optics and we're taking a look at the Drop Tine series. This is their 3x9x40. It's a very simple scope and yet it's very effective, perfect for hunting applications. And we're taking a look at a number of other gift ideas. And we really appreciate GetZone.com for putting this together and again for Burris Optics for being the presenting sponsor. And guys, make sure you check out GetZone.com. It is a strong Second Amendment video platform. We appreciate Ammunition Depot for sponsoring the ammo for the gift guide. You can go to AmmunitionDepot.com where ammunition is always in stock and ready to ship. Burris has been making optics for over 50 years, and they have a wide variety of different type optics. But today we're going to be taking a look at the Drop Tine series. And this is a 3x9x40. Now it also comes in a 4.5x14x42. But it is a very simple scope, really dedicated more toward hunting. It has a 1 inch diameter, but yet it still attracts quite a bit of light. Uh, this has a beautiful finish to it. And I've seen scopes that are a lot more expensive that are not just as finely finished as this scope. And there's something about that and you'll know it whenever you see one. It has a silver ring around here at the bottom that's very discreet and yet it kind of sets this scope off. And it also has low profile turrets. So it's going to keep a very low profile on your rifle. It's one of the things about this one inch optic. It just keeps the weight down. It's more streamlined. But very simple uh, to take off the turret caps. Very well threaded and you can adjust these by hand. Uh, you have 50 MOA adjustment for either side and it's quarter MOA adjusting. You have a diopter ring here at the back and this allows you to really focus in for your eye. And the magnification ring, very smooth and again three by nine. Now the reticle itself is very uncluttered and it's their ballistic plex. Um, it has the heavier lines on the outside and then it comes down to a finer line. Then you have a bullet drop compensator at the bottom. And it goes out to 500 yards for the most popular hunting calibers. But guys, it's really simple, easy to get on target, and with a hunting scope, that's really what you're looking for. You have an eye relief of 3.1 to 3.8 inches. And it has a really nice field of view. Uh, the clarity all along even the rim is really nice. Of course, these are coated, they're fog proof, and they're shock proof. It's 12.2 inches in length and it weighs only 13 ounces. Again, guys, it's a simple, rugged, very compact little scope. We were testing the centerfire version, but we were using it on a Volkortsen VT2, and this was in 22 Magnum or 17 HMR. Guys, we had some phenomenal accuracy with this rifle and this scope combination. Uh, the rifle's definitely on, but the scope is up to it. Again, the glass was very clear. It was easy to pick up detail, easy to stay on target. And when you're hunting and you're moving the scope around, it really gets fine detail out to distance. Again, it's a very compact optic, so it fits really nice on your rifle. It doesn't add a lot of weight or bulk. And that's one of the big pluses with this, with those low profile turrets, the one inch body diameter. Overall, we were really pleased with the drop time. And guys, for more information about the Burris drop time or their other line of optics, I mean, Burris again has been in business for over 50 years and you can go to BurrisOptics.com. Next is the Burris drop time binoculars. And this is eight by 42. Guys, having a set of binoculars has so many uses, whether you're hunting, uh, you need to get that detail. You need to be able to identify your, your game. And also when you're observing. I mean, it's really important to have a good pair of binoculars. Uh, whether you're at a sporting event or even for security. Uh, around the house, having a good set of binoculars will allow you to really see detail when things get a little fuzzy. Now, Burris has set up a whole set of accessories that go around this. And one is this strap with a neoprene backing on it. It's very comfortable to wear. Also, you have your diopter caps. And these fit actually to the strap and that way you can just drop them down and you don't lose them. Here on the front you have rubberized objective covers and they just hang down. So everything stays there together. It's really easy just to put back when you're ready to go. Now the eye cups are rubberized covered aluminum. Uh, and these eye caps are really comfortable to put on and of course really easy to bring out. Of course you have your focus ring right here that you can focus your eye and get it set. 
And then we have the fast focus system, which is right here. And it's really easy, once you have these in your hand, just to reach up and to turn that focus and to dial in. Now these are closed bridge, but they're really smooth back and forth. But yet it gets it locked in and gets enough resistance there where you're able to keep it in the exact same position. Uh, the rubberized coating that's all over the housing unit, I mean, it is beautiful. It's very aggressive, so it's easy to grab hold of. Uh, this is actually scratch resistant. Not only does it protect the binoculars, it also keeps them looking good. The glass is multi-coated. It's fog proof. It's shock proof. I mean, it has a really clear picture. We didn't really see any distortion when we were looking out over distance. The magnification seemed to go all throughout the lens. And of course, these are fully adjustable out to meet your eye size. It has a close focus at seven feet, so it gets it really close, but you can get it way out to distance. The field of view is 340 feet at 1,000 yards, and the eye relief is 0.72 inches. When you bring out the eye cups, you will lose a little bit of that eye relief, but it just meets to your eye a little better. These are waterproof, uh, they are drop resistant, and they're fog proof. And it weighs 26.5 ounces and 42 meter objectives. Included is a case with a strap and you have a Fastex buckle. You also have a small little sleeve here to be able to put certain items. And then you can just drop these down in here. And then you can actually attach this to your belt. And so with the belt loops, you can wear this all day long. So we took them out and did some field tests with them. Uh, again, very clear glass. Uh, the strap itself was very comfortable to wear all day long. Okay, it really allows you to see detail and also to see those white tails hopping over in the brush. And guys, you definitely want to identify your target because you don't want to have a mistake. And these do have a Burris Forever warranty. Binoculars are a very important part of hunting, security, and just for your favorite sporting event. And for more information, you can go to burrisoptics.com. The Sky DVG-1, and this is the RDR or Red Dot Ready option. Sky has really come a long way with their firearms, and this is their first striker fire option. The original Sky, and they still offer their double action pistols. But this one is in the striker fire with a flat face trigger, so it's really smooth. Uh, you do have... 10 rounds and you get two magazines. They do have the curved base plate. The gun is unloaded. Uh, we're gonna check the trigger pull though because one of the things about this pistol that really sets it apart for me is this trigger. Has a little bit of take up right here, a little resistance, and then a nice break. I'm gonna tell you guys, it's a vast improvement to me over the original. Uh, and there's also been some redesigning to make this grip just a little bit thinner. Now the slide is a black nitride finish, and guys, it is really well done. Um, and it is under a stainless steel slide, and then of course stainless steel barrel. The barrel is 3.1 inches in length. Of course, you've got your red dot option, and we just have a crimson trace on here, but it really lines up very well. The red dots are a big deal right now with a lot of people, and so having that red dot option is really smart. Uh, typically, these sights are compatible with any of your Glock 43 or 42 sights. You have front and rear cocking serrations. Uh, you have a little bit of a finger groove in the grip, and it gives you a really nice grip. Uh, just a little bit larger than your SIG P365, and yet it's about half the price. It does have the Roebuck quad lock, Joe Roebuck's the founder of Sky, and it gives you four points of contact with the barrel. You have your slide stop here, and we have our takedown lever, and there's just a nice styling throughout this pistol. But even though this is a more compact size, it tends to shoot more like a full-size pistol. And a lot of that has to do with that fully extended grip and that little magazine finger groove at the bottom. It just gives you a good solid grip on the gun, and yet uh, it just fires and shoots really well. Now you can get the DVG-1 without the optics cut, uh, but if you get the RDR, um, it does come with a cover plate. So you can shoot it that way, and then if you want to add an optic later, you can. And to me, it brings in that price point that anybody can afford to have a good quality pistol. And to me, that is very important. And these are made down in Orlando, Florida, so they're made in the USA. And for more information, you can go to sky.com, and that's S-C-C-Y. Next is the Canyon Coolers Nomad 20. This is a 20-quart soft cooler. Now, I'm really excited that they included this in the gift guide because having a cooler like this, especially at the beach, 
if you're in a boat. I mean, it's much better than packing one of those big hard coolers. They have their place, but this is a really good quality. And it's one of those that you can just take anywhere. It's 18 inches by 15 inches by 8 inches deep. And there are larger ones, there are smaller ones, but this just tends to be just the perfect size for a day at the beach or if you're out camping. Soft coolers are convenient and typically they don't stay cold as long as your standard firm hard coolers. But one thing about the Nomad 20 is it keeps beverages cold up to three and a half days in 90 degree weather. And that's pretty impressive. Now it has a neoprene uh, grab handle, very soft, and of course you've got really strong webbing. The outer material is a lot like what they use for wraps, uh, that for whitewater rafting. It's abrasion resistant and it has an 840 TPU impregnated fiber. So it's really insulated and it's going to give you that rubberized feel to it. All the seams are welded. It's going to keep it watertight. You see the box edge stitching and you even have little contact points that you can hook different things here. The zippers are seamed and they're hidden. So this is going to keep this from leaking. And then you have a fairly generous pocket in the front. And then you have your paracord pulls. Here on the back, we have shock cord. It is adjustable. And uh, a lot of things you can put here, especially if you're out fishing or you're going camping or definitely down at the beach. The rubberized material comes through here, but then it's reinforced with webbing. The bottom has more of a rigid material. Of course, the Canon logo all the way across. And there's a ridge. Just allows this to sit up straight. It's not going to fall over. And we have a bottle opener that's attached to the loop webbing. Have different contact points all the way up. And you can adjust this bottle opener or you can put different items right here with carabiners. Grab handles on each side. This makes it really easy just to lift uh, without having to grab the handle. Uh, you can have two people, especially if you have this full. And it allows two people to be able to hold it, but it just gives you another point to grab. Also on either side, you have quick release buckles and this expands the opening. Really easy to get to. Now along the top, you have a seamed zipper and this is watertight. A nice large little loop to be able to grab it, just pull it across. One of the things about these is they need to have a little bit of silicone that just helps and included is a tube of maintenance grease for your zippers. Now to open it up, you just bring it out. This has incredibly thick closed foam padding. Uh, and this is going to give you a lot of insulation. Of course, this rubberized material inside is going to keep it waterproof. And that's all the way through. And then you have the exterior on the outside, again, that's 100% fully seamed. So this is going to give you a lot of space. Again, 20 quart size. Probably put a case of beer in here or a case of soda. Pull the opening up and then you can just put in whatever contents you want to. Of course, dump your ice in here, sodas, beer, whatever you need for your beach trip, for your hiking, fishing trip. And again, guys, three and a half days will keep your beverages cold. That's pretty impressive. I mean, this zipper is solid. And included is a shoulder strap, really nice rubberized padding. Of course, the Canon logo across the top. Then we have connection points on either side and these do swivel. Really easy to attach. And guys, now you're ready to go. Shoulder this, take it wherever you need to. Very comfortable to carry on the shoulder. And of course, you can use one hand to grab that neoprene little grip. Just allows you to carry it very easily. It's a non-slip padding, but it's also very comfortable and it's thick. Now, if you purchase the Canon 20 by Father's Day, they'll throw in one of the Chilling Brew ice packs uh, and use the code SUCHFD22. And we'll have a link down below in the description. And again, that ends on Father's Day 2022. And guys, these are one of the best coolers out of the market. I mean, it compares easily with any of the big names. Canon Coolers is out of Flagstaff, Arizona. And guys, you know they need to keep things cool. And this is a great way to do it. The Nomad 20. And for more information, you can go to canyoncoolers.com. One of my all-time favorite rifles is the M1 Carbine. It's a 30 caliber. They were used during World War II, Korea, Vietnam. But the 30 caliber ammunition sometimes can be expensive and a little bit more difficult to find than your standard 9mm. This is the Kiapa M19. Now they originally started out making one with a walnut stock. Uh, they do make a synthetic stock, but this is the MBR or modern black rifle version. They use the standard Beretta 92S magazines. Uh, there are two included. These are actually made by Metgar, but they will fit any of your standard Beretta magazines. 
And the controls are similar in a lot of ways to your standard M1 with the mag release here, with your safety right here in front of the trigger guard. Charging handle right here, but this is a direct blowback action for the 9mm. And so it's set up a little bit differently than the standard M1 carbine, but this action will fit into a USGI walnut stock. Now instead of the original peep sight, this even included in their walnut version. This has one of the flip-up rear sights, very similar to your AR sight. Uh, one thing that's different is you do have a small Picatinny rail section right here where you can put different sights on here. And you have a Picatinny rail section at the front, and again, we have pop-up sights. Now, these sights can actually be used in the fold-down position. Also, a Picatinny rail on the bottom for lights or lasers. And it also has a barrel shroud that mimics a suppressor. Even with nice knurling, you have different ports at the front. It really gives this carbine a totally different look. Has a black stock, which has an epoxy finish on here for durability, and gives you a little bit of texturing. And it includes a rubber butt pad for comfort, uh, but the recoil on this carbine is mild. Now the action is smooth and it's really short to accommodate that 9mm caliber. And it also features a last round bolt hold open. Barrel length is 19 inches and the carbine weighs 6.6 .6 pounds. We found that the Kiapa M19 is very smooth shooting. Uh, very reminiscent of your standard M1 carbine but definitely with these upgrades, makes it a little different, especially with the barrel shroud at the end. But one of the great things about the Kiapa is that you're shooting nine millimeter, which is considerably cheaper and more plentiful than your 30 caliber carbine. With all the Picatinny rail accessories, you know, you have a lot of options and definitely optics are a big part of really getting that accuracy on paper. But guys, to be honest, with these sights at 25 yards, we were able to get a nice solid group. Overall, we had a great experience with the Kiapa M19. If you love the M1 carbine, which is an American tradition, but you'd rather spend less money on 9mm, but yet have something that's really up to date. Or you can go with their other models of their all walnut stock versions, which really mimic the old Warhorse, or, you know, get a synthetic stock as well. And for more information, you can go to kiapafirearms.com. Now we have the Charles Daly Honcho, and this is a tactical pump. Very compact, it's in 12 gauge, so you have a lot of power behind it. Has a 14 inch barrel, and then overall it's 27 inches. Weighs 4.7 pounds. This is a great option for close up home defense, even a vehicle gun. I mean, it's so handy. And the fit and the finish, the anodizing on here is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the steel barrel, and it does take up to three inch shells. Guys, the polymer handguard, it has a step down, so you can grab right here and be able to manipulate that forearm really easily. And I mean, it is a smooth operator. Uh, nice wide serrations right here, so it really allows you to get on here in any position. Then you have a Picatinny rail section at the bottom, great for a light for security or a laser. We have our tube cap, and it holds five plus one. And so it is very capable. Have your loading gate down here at the bottom. Very easy to load. Cross bolt safety right here, just like your Remington shotgun. And then you have your bolt release right here in front of the trigger guard. And it has a blade front sight when you're shooting those slugs. I really like this rubberized bird's head grip. Uh, it's very comfortable in your hand, especially when you're shooting full house 12 gauge buckshot or slugs. Uh, and guys, you're gonna really appreciate it once you get it out there. Then we have a polymer end cap. So it's gonna give it some durability. And it is drilled and tapped if you wanna throw on some kind of scope mount or red dot. And we have Honcho right here on the frame. Very tastefully done. Guys, this thing is so compact and so handy to use. Definitely a little bit different than a 12 gauge with a stock, but really just putting it out there in front of you and it's really easy to handle. I think a lot of it has to do with the bird head rubberized grip, but also that fore end. It just seems like you have a really solid grip on the gun. And you can shoot it from the hip, which really makes it a lot of fun. Of course, again, we were shooting target loads or bird shot. We were shooting some buck shot, and then we came in with slugs, just seeing how it does on paper. And honestly, it was really impressive. Again, this was the most fun we had at the range. It was a blast. And for more information, you can go to charlesdaily.com. So guys, hopefully we've given you some ideas for gifts, not only for your dad, but for yourself, your friends. It's always good to see a lot of really quality stuff that's out there. 
and we thank Burris Optics for being the presenting sponsor of the gift guide. And we also appreciate GetZone.com for putting all this together. Guys, if it's about the outdoors, GetZone.com is a great place to head. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic, and happy Father's Day. And go out and be a great dad. <laughs>